All right. Next up, please welcome Container Ship, presenting our Bill Doherty and Norman Joyner. Take it away. Hi, I'm Phil, and this is Norm. We're the co-founders of Container Ship, and we make your web hosting infrastructure portable. So scaling web infrastructure is really hard. And because of that, businesses use the tools provided by their hosting provider to scale more easily. But in the process, they get locked in, and they limit their flexibility. So if you're going to get a new TV cable provider in your home, you wouldn't want to rewire the whole thing. So why do you need to rewire your whole infrastructure to get a new hosting provider? And recently, with the release of tools like Docker, it's become easier for developers to bundle their applications into a container, which can be shipped and run anywhere. But Docker's only one part of the puzzle, and it's certainly not going to scale your infrastructure for you. You're still going to run into some pretty big challenges along the way. Like, how do my applications find and access the services they need to function? And what about my databases? Can I even run those on this system? And what's going to happen if this whole system comes crashing down at 4 AM, or if I need to move into a new region or completely switch hosting providers? What's the level of effort going to be to be able to do that? So we know these problems. We built the web hosting infrastructure powering hundreds of the leading retailers, mobile sites, and apps. And these are the issues that kept us awake at night and really gave us a lot of trouble. And that's why we developed Container Ship. It makes it incredibly simple for developers and DevOps to build, scale, and manage their infrastructure anywhere. And we also support persistent data, so you can run things like databases, queues, or anything that needs to be written to your hard drives. And best of all, we let you snapshot the entire thing to the cloud, where it can be easily migrated to another region or moved to a completely different hosting provider with a click. So we can't wait to show you how much easier your life could be with Container Ship. So let's jump into the demo and take a look. So Container Ship is a clustered hosting system that pulls together all of your servers in a data center. So you can see here that we have five servers in this cluster. Now, two of the servers are leaders. And leaders are the brains of the system that run the services that Container Ship needs to function. The other three servers that we have running are followers. And followers are where your containers and applications will actually run and execute. Now, let's imagine a real world scenario. You just launched your shiny new startup blog, and miraculously, your first post got picked up by TechCrunch. Unfortunately, your server's overloaded, and your site's slow, and your visitors are getting pretty frustrated. So in the old days, you would have been scrambling right now to launch more servers, reconfiguring things, and trying to keep up with the load. But with Container Ship, it's really, really easy to add more servers to your cluster. It only takes a single command. So now we can see that we have four followers in our cluster. So we can scale up our blog to take, make use of those resources. And now our site's loading quickly again. Our users are happy. And we're loving it because we have more happy users on our service. So everything you've seen so far is completely free and open source. But we have some really exciting premium features that we can't wait to tell you about. So let's jump into those and take a look. So this is Container Ship Cloud. It's a hosted service that allows you to easily manage your Container Ship clusters and all of your data. So you can see here that we have two clusters currently connected to the service. One of them is running in Amazon Web Services, and that's where our blog is set up. And the other is running in DigitalOcean, and there's currently nothing running on it. So let's imagine that for some reason our blog is just taking off in Singapore. And uh, the only problem is that our users are getting frustrated because the site's slow, and they're getting a really, really bad experience. Now, wouldn't it be nice if there was a way that we could move everything we already had set up in Amazon to our cluster on DigitalOcean in Singapore so that we, don't, we can take advantage of those users and make them happy? Well, let's switch over to the backups view, and we're going to show you the future of hosting portability. So all we need to do is create a backup, select our Amazon Web Services cluster where our blog is running, and click Backup. And now we can click the backup. And to restore everything, our applications, all of our data and database to DigitalOcean, just click Restore, select the target cluster, and hit Restore. Great. So while that runs, we're going to tell you a little bit about our future direction. So we're currently focusing on tools that will enable, enable team collaboration on continuously improving uh, your infrastructure. So we're going to do that by allowing you to share your backups in Container Ship Cloud with other members of your team who can modify them, improve them, test them on their own clusters, and share those changes back with you. 
We're also working on making it possible to automatically launch container ship clusters in many of the largest and most popular hosting providers. And we think that these two features together are going to be very powerful for development teams. So uh, the core of the system is completely free and open source. You can get started scaling in a single data center for free. And Container Ship Cloud is priced per seat based on the amount of data transfer you need during restorers and the amount of storage you need for storing your backups. So let's take a look and see where that DigitalOcean restore is at. All we need to do is manage our DigitalOcean cluster. All right, and we can see that our applications are both running. That's great. Great. Let's try to load the blog and see if our content's still there. And it is amazing. So we literally just took a blog that we set up on Amazon, securely snapshotted all of our applications, configuration, and data to the cloud, and moved it to a completely different hosting provider on the other side of the world with a click. This is something that would have taken hours, days, weeks, maybe even months in the past, depending on the complexity of your systems. But with container ship, the power is available to anyone to do within minutes with just a container ship cloud account. So uh, we're container ship. We're trying to eliminate hosting provider lock-in and make it possible for you to run your business where you want, when you want. So please check us out at containership.io. Sign up for our free uh, beta of Container Ship Cloud, and please stop by and talk to us in Startup Alley. All right, give it up. Great presentation. Thanks. Judges. I guess uh, my first thought is, for most of Freestyle's portfolio companies, they're at AWS and they haven't, you know, switched um, hosting providers. So it seems like I guess I want to understand a little bit more. You talked a little bit about this, but maybe you can talk a little bit more about how you see your product expanding, because maybe you move once, but I'm not sure I really buy that you're going to be moving around many times. Sure, yeah. So, I mean, that was one use case. Um, another one is just expanding within the same, you know, another one of Amazon's regions, which okay. still today isn't, isn't really easy. Um, you know, Amazon likes to lock you into a certain region. They have like an AMI transfer you can do, and you can move different components, but it's still not fully automated. Uh, and it's still time consuming. Uh, another use case is like setting up staging environments for your development team. Um, with container ship, it's really easy. You can literally just clone one environment and spin it up into a new one. So those are two use cases that we think could be pretty powerful. OK. How did you guys find this problem? It sounds like you guys have felt these pains. Yeah, we have. So we, uh, we built a pretty large infrastructure powering these retailers, mobile sites. Um, and we were using a, com a competitor's product. And it, it wasn't working out perfectly for us. We were running into a lot of challenges, even with scaling and just complexity. And we had to build a lot of the stuff ourselves to glue on. And we thought, you know, we're pretty good at this stuff. And this is still pretty challenging. There has to be a better way uh, you know, where other people can take advantage of, of this cool technology without such a headache. Who do you see as your uh, target customers in terms of the size of the organization or the operation? Sure, yeah. Um, so we're, we're initially targeting small to medium-sized uh, businesses and startups because we think that uh, you know, they're the earliest adopters of containers. Well, and enterprise is getting involved as well. Um, but that's who we think uh, this would work, work the best for, especially because their data need, needs aren't quite as huge. Any, uh, any developers in the audience? Does this sound like something you might be interested in? You raise your hand if so. Right. Yeah. Good number of hands out there. All right. Mm -hmm. How long have you guys been working on this um, container ship technology? Uh, honestly, only about six months. Yeah. And, and how have you been able to develop so, so quickly? Just because you were familiar with the issues and you're able to address them? Or yeah. you have some innovation that made this possible? Or? Yeah, we had been working on um, you know, some other stuff in the past. So some of the, some of the pieces we had built kind of went into making this. So it kind of let us jump start it. Um, so the open source stuff we released like two months ago, and it's been getting pretty good reception. And then this cloud piece, uh, we you know we've been working on pr fairly recently. For me to be a container ship customer, do I have to know before starting my app, building my application, to kind of build it in your framework? Or I've had my my application up for two years now, and I'm like, oh, I'd like to become a container ship customer. Can so I do, can I become a customer then? If you're already using Docker then the migration is really, really easy. Okay. You can use a web interface that we've created that you can literally just point and click and link everything together and scale it up. Um, if you're not, it would be slightly more challenging. Um, 
totally actually not really possible at the moment. So you need to be using containers already to, to take advantage of it. Got it. And do you guys, let's say I'm very much rooting for you. Let's say I, I integrate with you folks and maybe something happens, maybe you get acquired or whatever. How hard is it to, to switch over to something else? Am I really tied in or is it pretty straightforward? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say you're tied in at all. I mean, you're, you're running Docker containers, so you can still run Docker elsewhere. Um, but we think using container ships is the easiest way to run your Docker containers. So I think you would want to stay around. Yeah, cool. Any other questions, judges? All right, that was Container Ship. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.